During an interview this week, Marjorie Taylor Greene admitted something that, to be honest, is pretty much how most other Americans feel, and that is that she actually trusts the government less because she's a part of it. So here she is, very short clip, Marjorie Taylor Greene admitting that uh, her presence is apparently bringing down Congress. Take a look. I don't trust the government. Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm in it. But and I trust it even less now that I, I'm in it. I, again, for the first time ever, I'm not going to disagree with Marjorie Taylor Greene here. You know, I, she's right. And it's kind of shocking that she actually said something that was truthful and a little bit self-revealing. We all, I think, trust government a little bit less now that you're a part of it. But of course, we can't give all that credit to Marjorie Taylor Greene, not when you've got people like Paul Gosar out there, Louis Gohmert, Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, Mo Brooks, Lauren Boebert, Madison Cawthorn for a limited time. All of you, and so very, very many more, are what's dragging down the entire reputation of Congress. And it's not only, of course, because you're a bunch of, you know, idiotic nincompoops, no. It's mainly because people like you continuously vote against legislation that would benefit the lives of American citizens. And that's where we have to, of course, draw that distinction. It's fun to make fun of Marjorie Taylor Greene. I'm not going to stop until she's no longer in office. I enjoy it. Same thing with Gates and Boebert and Gomert and all those other goobers. But at the end of the day, People in this country, where Congress, of course, has a hideous approval rating, they don't just despise Congress because they despise these individuals and their behavior. What they're mad about with Congress is that nothing happens. And so the big question is, why does nothing happen? And it, nothing happens because of these people, because of these obstructionists. Their goofy behavior, believe it or not, folks, is actually excused, sometimes praised, by many people in this country. And we have to accept that. We don't have to like it, but we do have to understand that that is happening. But at the end of the day, what these people are pissed off about, why they despise Congress, why they don't trust the government is because they're not doing anything to help them. So these Republicans, people like Marjorie Taylor Greene vote against sending us stimulus checks, right? This past week alone, they they voted against making stiffer penalties for traffickers. They voted against giving veterans health care who were exposed to toxins while serving our country. It's votes like that that prohibit good things from happening in this country that make people distrust Congress. It's not just because Marjorie Taylor Greene is a little bit nutty. It's not just because Matt Gates is, you know, facing a pretty serious investigation and actually voted against legislation that would increase the penalties for what he is, you know, being accused of, or at least being investigated for. So we have to understand that distinction. Yes, Congress is historically unpopular and it is untrustworthy because of people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, just not for the reason that most people think. It's not the craziness that drives the public insane. It's the lack of action, the lack of really respect for the job, respect for the institution. That's what's driving people crazy in the United States. And of course it is driven by people like Marjorie Taylor Greene who would rather see this country go down the toilet than let the Democratic Party pass a good bill. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.